Hi everyone, Miss Curdy here again, and today we are going to be doing lesson 13-2, equivalent fractions on a number line. And for this lesson, you will want to have your resource out, your number lines, equivalent fractions on a number line, um, and this will help you figure out which fractions are equivalent. So let's take a look. Equivalent fractions on number lines are fractions that name the same distance from zero, the same distance from zero. One whole and four fourths are the same exact distance away from zero, and therefore they are equal. And let's take a look at what that means here. So zero to one is this far, and zero to four fourths is the same exact distance. And since they're the same distance from zero, they are the same size. Now you're going to want to use your number line, number line resource and fraction strips to help you find equivalent fractions. So down here, we want to find the equivalent fractions for the number line below. So I notice that up here we're talking about sixths, and down here we're talking about thirds. So I want to know what two numbers are going to go here. So first, I can look at my six, and I see one six, two six, three six. So I know my next fraction here will be four sixths. And down here, with thirds, I need to figure out what fraction is equivalent to two thirds. And that's where I want to grab out my resource, and I look to see where four sixes, four sixths, and then I need to figure out where my thirds would go, how many thirds I would need. So looking at my six number line and the top up here with thirds, I can see very easily that four six and two thirds line up right there. So two thirds is the exact same amount as four six because it's the same distance from zero. From here to here is two thirds and from here to here is four six. And that's how I can use my number line resource to figure out that four six matches up perfectly with two thirds. Now, I highly recommend you using your fraction strip resource. However, if you ever don't have it, you can draw your own number lines. We know how to make a number line for six, where I do thirds and then six, and then to make my thirds I would do the same thing with we did in topic 12 when making thirds. Now, whenever you're making your own number lines, you need to be very careful to make sure that they're accurate. You have to be as neat as possible to make sure that you're breaking up your number lines. Let me go ahead and do that right here. So first I want to make my thirds. So I have my zero and my one. And here I'm breaking up into one third and two thirds. And below that, I'm going to match up my zeros, match up my ones, and I know to make sixths, I first make thirds, and then my sixths. One third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, sorry, this should be six, one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and six six. And again, my four sixths and two thirds match up. So here I drew my own number line, but I can also use my resource and figure out where my four sixths is and then slide up to my thirds to see how many thirds line up. And you can find other equivalent fractions where if I'm looking at one half, I can slide down. There are no thirds equal to one half. If I slide down to my fourths, I see that two fourths is equivalent to one half. If I go down to my sixths, I see that three sixths, two fourths, and one half are all exactly the same. And again, I can slide down to my eighths. So there's actually four equivalent fractions here, one half, two fourths, three sixths, and four eighths. Let's try out another one. So here we've got three fourths. What is equivalent to three fourths? I can slide up, there is nothing there. And then as I slide down, I see that six eighths is equivalent to three fourths because they are the same distance away from zero. And that is how we can use this fraction resource to find our equivalent fractions. That's it for 13-2. Please let your teacher know if you need a mini lesson and don't forget to use that resource. I'll see you back here for 13-3.